In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we begin the 27 week in ordinary time, we are reminded about the way of a Christian life, how we should live according to God's call, each one of us. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. The Lord is merciful. He makes us clean of heart and leads us out into his freedom when we acknowledge our guilt. Let us ask him to forgive us and bind up the wounds inflicted by our sins. Please respond, Lord, hear us to each petition. Give us the grace of true repentance. Lord, hear us. Pardon your servants and release them from the debt of sin. Lord, hear us. Forgive your children who confess their sins and restore them to full communion with your church. Lord, hear us. Renew the glory of baptism and those who have lost it by sin. Lord, hear us. Welcome them to your altar, and renew your spirit with the hope of the eternal glory. Lord, hear us. Keep them faithful to your sacraments, and loyal in your service. Lord, hear us. Renew your love in their hearts, and make them bear witness to it in their daily lives. Lord, hear us. Keep them always obedient to your commandments, and protect within them your gift of eternal life. Lord, hear us. Let us now pray to God our Father in the ways Christ gave us and ask him for his forgiveness and protection from all evil. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily My sisters and brothers, confess your sins and pray for each other that you may be healed. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I confess with sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my thought, through my thought, through my most grateful thought. Therefore, I ask the Lord Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God the Father does not wish the sinner to die, but to turn back to him and live. He loved us first and sent his Son into the world to be saved. May he show you his merciful love and give you peace. Amen. 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 Our Lord Jesus Christ was given up to death for our sins and rose again for our justification. He sent the Holy Spirit on his apostles and gave them power to forgive sins. Through the ministry entrusted to me, may he deliver you from evil and be with his Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Spirit, the Comforter, was given to us for the forgiveness of sins. In him we approach the Father. May he cleanse your hearts and clothe in his glory, so that you may proclaim the mighty acts of God, who has called you out of darkness into the splendor of his light. Amen. Amen. And I have
absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. down 
its walls so that every passerby plucks its fruit. The boar from the forest lays its waste, and the beast of the field feed upon it. This is the heir. 
Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out to the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, He will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, Did you never read the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to people, to a people that will produce its fruit. My sisters and brothers in Christ, this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We know that every Christian or every person who calls himself or herself a Christian must have a certain way of life. And that is what we have heard from Prophet Isaiah. He's not talking to the Israelites this morning, he's talking to us. We are the vineyard of the Lord. In this vineyard, we are the choicest vines. The choicest vines of God. Every Christian. So St. Anthony Parish is the vineyard of the Lord. And we are the choicest vines. But we cannot just end there as the choicest vines, we have to produce proper crop, grapes uh, from these vines. As we have heard, the friend of Isaiah, who is God, he was talking about, he cared so much for that vineyard. And yet, from the choicest vines, he saw that there were wild grapes and that was very disappointing because in that vineyard there was so much investment in it and yet nothing good came out of it you and I as the choicest vines in this vineyard we have to give God the proper grapes the good fruits and those good fruits, we know them. Because as we have been called Christians, we bear the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And our life must always be the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the way we can produce the good grapes and not wild grapes. The Lord looks like we have heard from Prophet Isaiah, I look for judgment, but it's bloodshed. I look for justice, but it's outcry. So our life must show who we are, that we are the choicest ones. Here at St. Anthony of Padua, we do great. We are a beacon of hope. We are a beacon of peace, love, and joy and justice. All the ministries that we have here, they are not just for us here at St. Anthony. They are for our communities. We see every day people come to get food and other help. Why? Because they see the good grapes here at in the vineyard. We produce good fruits. And we have to continue to do that as individuals and in the parish family. Every day we receive calls, somebody's calling for some money for power, 
And most of these people, they are not Catholic, they are not a part of the parish family. But why do they go? Why do they come here? Because they see good fruits in this vineyard. And we have to continue to do that. But we are not just choices vines, we are also servants in the vine, in the vineyard. That's what we learn from Jesus Christ. We are servants to take care of one another. If we see somebody in our parish family, or somebody we know they are going in the wrong direction, they are producing wild grapes, we need to remind them, bring them back and let them know you are a choices vine. You are supposed to produce good grapes. That is our responsibilities as well, to be choices vines and to be servants at the same time. We know some of our parishioners, maybe you have left the church, you have left the faith, not because of the pandemic, but maybe it happened even before the pandemic. We know them, reach out to them, help them to come back and be part of this vineyard because they are choices vines. They have to produce good uh, grapes. That is our mission. But these things cannot continue well without doing what St. Paul is talking about. First of all, he warns us, have no anxiety, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Offer your prayers and petitions and requests all that you need from God. If something is not going right, we just pray and offer and make requests to God so that things can work well in this vineyard. And then St. Paul is telling us something very important. Keep doing what you have learned, what you have received, what you have heard, and what you have seen. From who? From our Lord Jesus Christ. That is what we have to keep doing every day. That's the way we produce good grapes. If we detach ourselves, from what we have received, what we have heard, what we have seen, what we have learned from Christ, we can end up producing wild grapes. So we have to attach ourselves to the owner of this vineyard, and that is our Lord Jesus Christ. So today and all this week, let's reflect each one of us. What fruits am I producing in my life today? What words come out of my mouth? Do they help or do they destroy? What is my attitude towards other people? What is my way of life? Am I exemplary according to the virtues and values of God's kingdom that Christ is talking about? Let's produce good fruits. For you and I, we are choices. Let us now prepare our faith. I believe in one God, the Father of all men, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God and Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from true God, the God in my name. Thank you.
As St. Paul encourages us, we present our petitions and our prayers and all the needs of the people around the world to God. As Jesus uses the vineyard, a symbol of the kingdom of God, coinciding with the feast of St. Francis of Assisi, patron of ecology, may we have a deeper commitment to the stewardship of our planet, that we find ways to secure the earth and her resources for our children and future generations. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the new encyclical for Tuti of Pope Francis released this weekend, calling upon all men and women to work for peace and harmony in a world reshaped by the COVID-19 pandemic, may be received with thanksgiving and hope. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that each one of us will receive the grace to fill our minds with everything that is true, noble, good, and pure, virtuous, and worthy of praise. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That individuals and families who are experiencing new financial pressures because of the pandemic will receive the grace to remain hopeful and that governments will act to significantly relieve the burden of power. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we will not forget people of faith who are persecuted for their beliefs and pray that this basic human right is restored to them quickly so that praise and thanksgiving may be offered to God with joyful hearts. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the kingdom of God in all of its fullness will be given to those who bore its fruit while on earth and who have now passed through death. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all our best intentions and prayers, we present them to God in silence. Almighty God and Father, as you receive our prayers this morning, spoken and unspoken, we pray especially on this day of St. Francis of Assis, that Lord, you bless all the pets and animals that we keep, and especially those animals which are being abused, that they may find proper homes. Grant all this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of your Accept, O oh Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, gracious complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everyone, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the age of mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we are playing. In a similar way, taking the chalice, filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
because they loved God, because they would take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Sabbath of the Lord.
let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. Do we have announcements to make? University classes for the fall this week. We have fall for faith sharing opportunities. So we're going to be doing the Catholicism series. Those are on Tuesday and Thursdays. You can sign up for a week or all three weeks. They'll run October and November. And we'll be discussing one of the DVDs, watching it together and discussing it as we go along. And then on Wednesday afternoons, we're going to do Renew's fall faith sharing series, which is around the Sunday Gospel from Matthew each week, and that will be on Wednesdays from 3 to 4.30. So all of these are listed online, and there are plenty of virtual offerings as well. I hope you'll check them out and join us for something. And if you can't seem to find a link, you can always just email me. My information is on the bulletin. It's sapfaithformation at gmail.com. And then, on behalf of CCB, I wanted to let you know that classes will begin virtually on October 14th. But the books will be available for families who have registered next, next Wednesday, October 7th, from noon to 6. So please register, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. We have announcements. Um, talking about the good grapes, I think I just want to look at this good grape that you don't produce, we need to say thank you. Such beautiful, beautiful piece of work coming from your fruits, uh, the contributions. And the church is still ongoing in terms of, uh, it hasn't finished yet, there are a few things that they continue doing, uh, the contractor, but we'll still be having our masses here and like you have seen the pews, they will move this side and there will be half of the pews that side. And we are going to increase our lighting inside because some, some places are a little bit dark. So uh, there's just a little bit of work to be uh, completed and then there will be a lot of work outside there. So uh, we are just grateful that we have the space again back in the church and to continue worshiping to God. And I'm also reminding you, those who have time on Wednesday, uh, I'm going to have Mass here at 6 p.m. Uh, in Thanksgiving for the 25 years of my priesthood and also the installation uh, official of me as pastor of St. Anthony Father. So if you have time, please come and celebrate with me and give thanks to the Lord. Thank you. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks Thank be to God. God. Let's leave this day in some place. Let's leave this in place to God.